Do you want to create professional graphics like these and spend no money at all? Don't worry, I've been there. I like money. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make really basic but professional lower third graphics for your videos. This one's going to be a fun one. My name's Dan and you're watching Dan Vinci. Let's do this. Okay, so we're on the edit page right now and we've created a new project. To make a start, we need to make a fusion composition. To do this, just go over to your media pool, this thing right here, right click on it and click new fusion composition. Clicking this will open up this little thing here and you can just name this whatever we want. In my case, I'm gonna call it uh, lower third. A bit boring, but gets the point across. And we're gonna select our frame rate. So for me, I'm gonna do 30 frames a second. And we're gonna click create. So this will create a lower third here. Now I've already done this before because I was planning this video. So ignore this guy. Bye bye. Yes, go, go away. We're gonna drag this down here. But here we are. We have a plain empty fusion composition. Now with our little cursor over it, let's go into the fusion tab. Now fusion can come across as quite scary. And to be honest, <coughs> <coughs> I went down for water, came back with a cookie. Life is good. Right, now where was I? Fusion. Now fusion can be quite scary. <laughs> And I completely understand that. So if you follow the steps in this video, step by step, this shouldn't be a problem. If there is, then I'm an idiot and I haven't taught you well enough. So at the minute, we only have a media out node. Now this is our output. Basically, our final image will go through this node. So our first step is to create a background. And this background is going to be literally nothing. It's just going to be effectively our media in node. And in fact, we'll rename it that. Why not? So what we need to do is create a background node. So let's drag this little icon here down and this will create a background node. Now, if you don't have this icon, just control space and it'll bring up the search bar and just search background. So now we've got our background node, let's drag it by clicking this little square here over to the media out. This will create our background. Now at the minute it will be black by default, that's absolutely fine. We want to go over to the inspector tab which is in the top right corner. If it's not, just click on it, just there. And then you'll see the alpha controls here. Drag that down and it will create this nice clear frame, which is what we're going to work in today. It's a good cookie. It may look burnt, but it's not. It's a good cookie. Wow, wow cookie. Nom nom cookie. Wow, wow cookie. <laughs> Okay, so the next step, grab another background layer and this is going to be our actual background. What we're gonna do is go to the top right corner while selecting this background and click on the color and we're gonna change this, in my case, to white. Now, obviously, feel free to customize this all you want. This is just a basis to give you a basic idea of how to create a basic graphic. A lot of basics in this video. <laughs> okay, so now we've got this white background. Let's create a merge node. So this background here, click on that and click this little icon here. This is our merge node and it will automatically populate into this. Then what we wanna do is click our background click the square, drag it down to the merge node and it will create a white background. Now don't get too overwhelmed by this because all we need to do is click on this little icon here, the square, and it will create a square mask of the background. So as you can see, this rectangle is acting like a mask on this background, which is merged into our scene. So when you really dumb it down like this, it's actually rather, rather simple. It looks complex on the surface because it's a node tree and node trees are terrifying. Clicking on the mask, we can customize this quite easily. So if we go down to corner radius and just drag this along, there you go. We've now got a curved cornered square or rectangle. I don't know my shapes. I'm stupid. Like, I'm not trying to be me. Like, are you dumb? So now that we've created these curved corners, let's move this to where I want it. Now, you see these little controls here while clicking on the mask? Let's drag it down to about here. And then we're going to click on the corners like this and we can change the size of it. I'm going to move it a bit more. Move it a bit like that. Maybe drag it out a little bit more, make it a bit bigger. Move it to about there. And there we are. We now have a basic square in the bottom left corner. Now it's time to animate this. So what we want to do is animate this mask on the, well, white square. Let's go to the beginning of our timeline. So make sure you're on frame zero. Let's click on this keyframe here in the inspector tool. So as you can see, it says center, X and Y. So this is the X and Y axes. And wherever you move this, it, the mask will move basically. So let's create a keyframe here and let's go to frame 20. And we're going to click the frame button again and we're going to click this little arrow to go back to frame zero and then we're going to go on the y-axis and drag this down like so. Now let's click on the spline button in the top right corner. Click on this rectangle one to show our keyframes. Click this little button here to, well, show our keyframes in a more easy on the eye manner. And then let's highlight these keyframes. Click the ease control to ease these keyframes to make it a little bit more realistic. And click T on your keyboard to open the ease and the ease out controls. Drag these to about, let's say, 70, like so. Boom. 
Now if we click play, our graphic will nice and smoothly come in. Whereas before, if we hadn't have done this and it was like this, it would look like this. So I much prefer this method, much more professional. I am a professional. Now let's create some text. Now those of you with sharp eyes will have seen this icon right here. Now this is obviously the text icon because it's got a little T and it's universally used in Microsoft Word, After Effects, everything else I can't think of. So what you want to do is drag this little icon down and it'll create a text node. Now this is going to be your friend to create text. In the top right corner in the inspect tab, let's write whatever we want. I'm going to put Dan, I can't even spell my own name, lovely. Dan Vinci, I told you I was stupid. Now you can change the font just by clicking this. I like to use Proxima Nova and I'm going to change it so it's black or maybe maybe a bit gray like that. It's hard to see at the minute, but once we put it on the white box, it'll look fantastic. I just remembered I haven't renamed these nodes. I'm going to rename these just to make it easier for you guys. The way to do this is just by clicking F2 on your keyboard and then just typing whatever name you want. Feel free to copy what I've done, but you don't have to. So clicking on your merge, we want to create another merge. So click on this icon here to create another merge node and this will automatically populate into your node tree. Hello. From here, drag your text node over to your merge node and now it will appear in your media out. From here, let's move it. So let's put it down here and I'm going to resize it in the inspector tab, just like so. And I'm going to add a bit more text. Now that we have our text in place, when we play this through, the text is still there. And obviously we don't want just text to pop into place. Nice. And look a bit silly, just floating there by itself. Help me! To solve this, all you need to do is go over to your mask, click on the white square and drag it over to your text one. And when we play this now, now, the text will appear with the white box. Now what if I want to add an image? Well that's quite simple as well. Open up your media pool by going into the top left corner of your Fusion page. Clicking on the media pool will open it. Then what you want to do is drag and drop a image or logo that you want to use in your lower third. Drag this logo from the media pool into your Fusion comp and it will appear as a media in. I'm going to call this logo. From here I'm going to create another merge node by clicking on the merge node that we've already got and clicking on the merge node again and it will automatically put this into the node tree. Then we're going to drag our logo in like this and it will appear in our media out and then we're going to create a transform node. Making sure that we've got the logo selected go over to the transform node click on this and then drag it down into the size that you want. There we go. That looks quite nice already. Click the output of the mask and drag it down to the merge node. Now when we play this back, the logo appears with the white graphic. Now for some finishing touches, just to make it stand out and add a little bit of spice to your amazing graphic. Let me add a little bit of spice. You don't have to do this, but to me, it makes it look a little bit better. Clicking on your final merge node, click control space and search drop. This will show up drop shadow, click on this and it'll add a bit of drop shadow to your graphic. Feel free to customize this in the inspector tab to your liking, but I'm going to leave it sort of like this. Now that looks pretty cool. Let's also add a little bit of a shine to the graphic. To do this, let's add another background node. This is going to be our shine. Clicking F2, let's name this shine. We're going to change this background node to white in the inspector tab. Clicking one, let's see it in the preview, and let's add a square mask. Drag this down like so, attach this to our background, and let's make this really thin, really long like that. And then what we're going to do is soften the edges just like that. And then we're going to add another merge node by clicking on our drop shadow and clicking merge. Attach this to our merge node and this will appear in our media out. Now I'm going to add a bit of rotation just like this. And now that I've added some rotation, let's add some animation. So I've decided on frame 55 for the shine to begin. Let's click on our center once again, our center keyframe to create a keyframe. Drag along and I'm going to go to frame 80. Let's round it up to frame 80. That's a nice round number. I'm going to click another keyframe and I'm going to drag it along like so to about there and then going back on our keyframe to the other one and I'm going to drag it along like so. There we go. Okay, so now that we've created our shine, let's add a mask so it only affects our lower third graphic. To do this, let's drag this up. This is our original mask, which is this right here. What we want to do is while selecting this, click our rectangle to create another rectangle. Now don't worry, it will create a white square like this. This is fine. In the top right corner in the inspector tab for the rectangle two, as you can see, we have a mode called paint mode, which has just appeared. Clicking this and go down to subtract, will make this square disappear. Now, if you drag this over, it should subtract our shine. That's fine, perfect. Now what we need to do is click invert and now it will only show the shine, which is fantastic. This is exactly what we need. Dragging this down to our graphic right here. Let's find a point where the shine is on the graphic and zoom in like so. Then let's resize this so it's just the size of our graphic. 
If you want to be really specific about this shine effect, just go over to the corner radius and bring it in a bit like that. And just like that, we have created a really, really basic but professional looking graphic for your videos completely for free, not using any of your monies. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned something from it. I'm so close to 5,000 subscribers. If this video can tip me over the 5,000 subscriber mark, then I will do a video with a horse head on. An entire tutorial with a horse head. In fact, I'll get it now. I'll do a whole video with this horse head on. All right, with all the silliness out of the way, hope you enjoyed. My name's Dan, you've watched Dan Vinci, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.